My name is Dina Wisnu. I am the Indonesian representative to the ASEAN Intergovernmental Commission on Human Rights. I'm also an academic, a specialist in international political economy and diplomacy. I'm based in Jakarta, Indonesia. Uh, iChair was established in 2009. The 10 representatives was inaugurated in Cha Am Hua Hin, uh, Thailand, uh, following the commitment of ASEAN leaders to uh, have ASEAN human rights body as stipulated in the Article 14 of the ASEAN Charter. Um, the work of iChar is mainly to uh, make sure that the dream of having an ASEAN community that's supported by three pillars, uh, political security cooperation, economic cooperation, and sociocultural cooperation are mainstream with human rights principles. So uh, in our uh, line of work, IHR representatives must ensure that all programs and activities that ASEAN uh, develop is uh, mindful of human rights principles. So the Universal Declaration of Human Rights um, is a reflection of the commitments of the entire uh, population of the world uh, towards the betterment of society. Uh, at the individual level as well as at the engagement at the community level. So uh, ASEAN look up to this uh, human rights declaration for references on what are the rights that needs to be served, that needs to be provided uh, by the state, uh, and if it's not the state, who else should be engaged. So um, for the most part, uh, dialogues uh, within ICHAR and as well as uh, inside of ASEAN has very much uh, always ref um, refer to the UDHR. We uh, always make sure that uh, the commitments that ASEAN member states have made um, individually as uh, sovereign states uh, is served uh, well through our engagement at the regional level. But uh, of course along the way, uh, if you notice, there are specificity of needs in the region. Uh, and human rights is a very personal uh, issue as much as it is about the state. So there may be uh, some parts, some uh, activities that you can generalize across uh, nations, but when it comes to the very detailed level, it requires specific approach, specific uh, touch to make sure that everybody is uh, getting a buy-in to the issue. And this is why uh, ASEAN then developed its own ASEAN Declaration on Human Rights. And this uh, has been criticized by some people as trying not to serve the universal principle of human rights. But again, because the context of ASEAN is different for the most part, and it uh, develops much later after uh, most countries who have first uh, endorse the Universal Declaration. The important part is that everybody agrees to work together and find uh, ways together to eventually get into the rights that are uh, highlighted, listed by the UDHR. The civic space in um, my country or in the region is not necessarily provided by the UDHR. It's the policy of every uh, member states uh, in ASEAN to provide civic space. And this is exactly why having the ICHAR uh, is very important because it allows us to remind each other uh, what else needs to be done. And oftentimes, without realizing it, when governments are so passionate towards certain direction, either politically uh, or to develop economic cooperation or even sociocultural cooperation, they left some groups behind. And uh, when they left somebody behind, the groups who remind them uh, then got you know, set aside or cornered. So that's the reason why having uh, a human rights body like us allows more uh, amicable dialogue among member states. So those kind of reminder doesn't sound like uh, uh, scorch, you know, to uh, member states, which is a positive uh, aspect of uh, ASEAN. Human rights uh, in ASEAN is just like any other countries in the world, is now at the stage of challenge. 
because you know that it's very easy for people to talk about human rights, but it's very hard to comprehend, especially for policymakers. Everybody wants to be treated in certain ways, but when it comes to treating others in certain ways, they you know, start thinking how to make sure they don't have to do that, and it becomes politicized. Um, and at the more um, macro level, it has implications to how country to country uh, relates. Uh, and specifically in this region, major uh, power competition, rivalry among major powers um, has an impact as well to how uh, human rights is uh, endorsed or enhanced. Um, when the tension is high among major powers, the pressure is also bigger for human rights uh, defenders, human rights uh, activists in the region. So yeah, it's quite challenging time for us. Among the mandates of uh, ICHA representatives is to help enhance the commitment of ASEAN member states to international commitments that they have made. Um, and the second one that uh, is also included in the mandate is that uh, we have to uh, make sure that the ASEAN Human Rights Declaration is also implemented. So it's, it goes hand in hand. And if you look carefully, the uh, ASEAN Human Rights Declaration along with the Phnom Penh Statement is actually enhancing or endorsing the uh, Universal Declaration of Human Rights. It's just how you actually apply it uh, is what the ASEAN Human Rights Declaration say that it has to be specifically uh, adjusted to the context of the region. I think for ASEAN, uh, the, spro the prospect of uh, human rights is quite promising. We cannot tell the entire story until, of course, it ended. But uh, the issue is this, until all member states have been exposed to experiences on how is it, if you care about human rights, what do you do? Uh, how do you uh, respond when certain challenges or conflicts happen uh, in your society? Uh, if you cannot provide for everybody, what do you do? Um, we are racing against time because out there, uh, there are discourses uh, growing as well on that's quite competing to the discourse of human rights where, for example, they talk about, oh, if you, you can always provide human rights and dignity to people if you uh, have enough um, economic growth or you have uh, uh, freedom of expression. Um, the UDHR remains uh, inspiration for the region, um, something that reminds us of how bad things uh, could could turn to be like the one we have experienced in the world before if we forgot about human rights principles.